GPT-4 was released just two days ago, but already people have used it in absolutely mind-blowing ways, from creating full mobile apps that are ready to publish to the App Store, to one-click lawsuits for annoying robocallers. If you want to learn how to make money using ChatGPT-4, watch all nine of these insane examples that have huge potential to be real money-making businesses and see which one makes sense for you. Hey, I'm Matt Berman. Let's get into it. The first example comes from a Twitter user named Amar Reshi, and he was able to recreate the game Snake in under 20 minutes in JavaScript with zero programming experience. He did this with ChatGPT4 and a product called Replit. For those of you not familiar, Replit allows you to load and execute code in the browser really easily. It's copy paste from ChatGPT. So here it is, here's how he did it. Here's the example game on the right side. This is Snake. Obviously it's pretty simple in terms of graphics, but he did it in 20 minutes. If you expand on it a little bit, you can make it look really good. And so if we scroll down, the way he did this was first, he said a one sentence prompt, write a JavaScript Snake game, provide all the necessary code, HTML, CSS, and JS, to make it work. Now from that prompt, ChatGPT was able to spit out not only an explanation, but all the elements to actually create the game. First, it created the main page, index.html. Then it created the styles, styles.css. And then last, it was able to spit out the JavaScript. Now here's the example. So this is within Replit. He copy pasted the three files. So here it is, index.html, script.js, and style.css. Pushed go, and it was running in minutes. Absolutely incredible. You can create the game, put it live, promote it and monetize it all within minutes. In this tweet, he talks about having some issues with the original code, such as the snake would die after its first bite instead of growing, but he just told ChatGPT what the issues were and ChatGPT spit out a better set of code. Then he wanted to add a high score counter, so he simply asked for it, added it to Replit and it was done. And so let's try out the game. And it's funny that he used the Nokia phone outline, which was the original place the snake game was found. So let's play. It even has sound effects. All right, I'm not gonna keep playing, but that's it. And you're able to actually find the URL. You can fork his code, or you could just create it yourself using ChatGPT. I'll leave the URL in the description below. The next example we're gonna look at is by a gentleman named Carlos Santana. He also posted this on Twitter. He was able to recreate the Flappy Bird game in a really basic version, but he was able to do so in just a few minutes. Let's take a look. So it looks like he used Python and did this locally on his machine, but of course you can use something like Google Colab and not have to set up anything on your own machine. So here's a quick video of the game actually running. Yes, it looks very basic, but you can use something like Midjourney or Leonardo.ai to create the assets and then GPT will actually insert it into the code. So it's pretty amazing what you can do. So the next example is by Javi Lopez, and he was able to recreate the game Doom, which is an old school first person shooters, one of the first, if not the first first person shooters. And he basically had GPT do all the hard math involved in actually creating a 3D shooter. Let's take a look. The first thing he says is lower your expectations. He didn't spend very long on this and what he was able to create in that very short period of time is amazing, but it's still pretty basic. So let's take a look. The first prompt he said was program a simple Doom style game in HTML and JavaScript in only one .html file for everything. Don't give me explanations or comments. ChatGPT will explain all elements of the code unless you ask it not to which I actually find quite useful. Next, he copied and pasted the code into W3School's JS testing environment, but you can also do this in Replit. In the first version, it was a top-down 2D shooter. He was just able to move around, have some collision detection through walls, and now in the next step, he added 3D. All he did was ask, so that's very cool. Now do it so the view is from the point of view of the character in 3D. Look at this. He was actually able to get GPT to create the 3D math necessary to create the game. So now here's what it looks like. Still very basic, but you could tell the framework is there. All they did was create a very basic room. So next we wanted to enhance the game's visual appearance. So add color walls to the code. Now we have color. Very, very cool. So those are three incredible examples of games being created using ChatGPT very little to zero coding knowledge in just a few minutes. 
If you continue with that, spend a bit of time tinkering, you can create a game, publish it, and start monetizing. The next way to make money using ChatGPT is to actually create applications that are ready to publish to an app store. So in this example, Morton just made a movie recommendation app with just a few prompts that was ready to go, ready to publish to the app store. It's pretty incredible. So he gives the prompt, you're an AI programming assistant, follow the requirements, think step-by-step, step, and he explained, you're writing an entire app in Swift UI, you're going to provide five movie recommendations per day, and we need the full app. So if we go down, he says, yeah, there were two or three bugs, which I discovered, asked ChatGPT to fix, and it did easily. He modified the UI using ChatGPT, and he actually provided the code as well. So here's the full code from that application that he was able to create using ChatGPT. I'll link this in the description below. One of the demos during the GPT-4 presentation was Greg Brockman drawing an application on a piece of paper, taking a photo of it, uploading it to ChatGPT, and ChatGPT turning that into actual code and it's absolutely insane. One of the new enhancements in GPT-4 is the fact that it's multimodal. You can use images as the input. It's pretty incredible. So here, let's take a look. <clears throat> a nice hand-drawn mock-up of a joke website. So I'm just going to take out my phone, literally take a photo of this mock-up. All right, going to send it to our Discord. And here we go. So literally we just said to output the HTML from that picture, and here we go. Actual working JavaScript, filled in the jokes. For comparison, this was the original of our mock-up. And so there you go, going from hand-drawn, beautiful art to working website. So if writing the prompt is too much for you, simply hand-draw a design, scan it, post it to ChatGPT, and see what the response is. You'll get a fully functional website in a matter of minutes. So the next way to make money with ChatGPT is by content creation. Yes, you could do this with ChatGPT 3.5, but with ChatGPT 4, you have a much bigger response and prompt available to you. And with that, you're actually able to get a lot more consistent content. So the next example is from Reid Hoffman, who is known for being one of the original PayPal founding members, as well as going on to create LinkedIn, the social networking site. He actually had access to GPT-4 a while ago. He states last summer, he was actually one of the original investors in OpenAI. So he got really early access. Now with that, he actually wrote an entire book with GPT-4. Now let's take a look. This book is called Impromptu and it's all about AI and human engagement. And so he talks about using AI in education, creativity, justice. You can read the book, I'll link it down below. But he worked hand in hand with ChatGPT4 to create an entire 230 plus page book and he published it, and now he's gonna earn money on it, and you can do that as well. The next way to make money with ChatGPT4 is actually doing bug bounties. Uh, Mayo, as he's known on Twitter, used ChatGPT4 to scan his entire front end of LangChan AI, his chatbot, for bugs and errors. Found a bunch, fixed them, but you can use this to find bugs and vulnerabilities in other websites and applications. Frequently, these products have bug bounty programs that you can take advantage of. And these bug bounty programs range from hundreds of dollars to tens of thousands and even hundreds of thousands of dollars for finding vulnerabilities in applications. Now here's another example of somebody who created software with zero programming experience. Jake Browatsky was able to use GPT-4 to create his own Chrome extension. He states, GPT-4 walked me through step-by-step step the entire creation process, writing the code and fixing all the errors that came up and now he's gonna publish this Chrome extension and he can easily monetize it. So for our next example, GPT 3.5 was already incredibly smart and did well in standardized testing, but GPT 4 absolutely blew it out of the water. As you can see here, OpenAI performed incredibly well in a number of different tests, from the bar exam, the LSAT, the SATs, all the way to AP courses. What you can do with this is create an exam partner business. You can program ChatGPT to help students study, correct them when they're wrong, and give them additional problems to solve. So the next example of how to make money with ChatGPT is by someone that I follow on Twitter called Linus Ekenstam. And he created a company that builds bedtime stories for children using ChatGPT. These stories are extremely personalized about your child and you can download them easily. 
and you can imagine all of the audio content that you can create, podcasts, audiobooks, anything you want using ChatGPT, and then you can start to monetize them. This next one is potentially my favorite. A company called Do Not Pay created a one-click way to write lawsuits to sue robocallers when they call you. You can make up to $1,500 with a single click with a lawsuit. Obviously, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but ChatGPT is able to create the entire lawsuit documentation and you don't have to do anything there. Let's take a look. So as we see, ChatGPT is actually referencing the law in the lawsuit document, states who the plaintiff and the defendant are, what crimes are alleged, the jurisdiction and venue, and the allegations. Pretty amazing. Now our last example comes from a Twitter user named Sudarshan, and he was able to take a picture with his phone of his fridge, upload that picture to ChatGPT, and have it list out different recipes that he can create in under 60 seconds. It's pretty incredible. What you can do is take this process, wrap it in an application using ChatGPT, and publish it to the App Store. This is a no brainer. This seems amazing to me. Simply take a picture, create recipes. I would definitely buy this. And so that's it. Those were nine different brand new ways to make money with ChatGPT using GPT-4. It's pretty incredible how far we've come since ChatGPT was only released a few months ago and here we are with GPT-4. If you wanna see more cool stuff being built with ChatGPT or just follow along with the artificial intelligence industry, I created a newsletter and I'll link it down below in the description. Feel free to subscribe. If you liked this video, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.